welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rule the Waves 2 as Germany, episode number 3. And I want to start off this episode by spamming a bunch of stuff because apparently, <clears throat> although I wasn't sure about this myself, anytime your funds are equal to or greater than half of the yearly budget is when this event can fire. At least that's what I've been told. Just wish that there was some way to confirm that, but... Um, appears to have fired off here in that same situation. So we're just going to go on a bit of a spending spree. Improve all the bases. Improving bases is just an initial cost. So basically we're in the exact right situation for, to be doing that. Not, obviously, I mean, we don't really need, um, we don't want to increase our maintenance, but we do want to improve our capabilities. Wow, Cash Bay might be fine, but hey, you never know when you're going to want to do some major blockade on Japan, so <laughs> for that reason we'll go ahead and push a little bit of extra tonnage or capability, Just, uh, tonnage storing capability, probably what I should say. Um, another thing I want to do is, uh, we have a ship under construction right now, well this is the Morgan Sterner, no no, it's the Vit von Mocker, which one is it? I have it here. Uh, Vit von Mocker. It was actually supposed to be a battle cruiser, so um, I'm going to rename it, we had one other Come in. We had one other come in. Uh, Iron Chancellor. Damn it, it's not in German. Well, I have a few backup names here. Prot Verstel. Here, I just. The Hilligoland. That's an appropriate enough name. Because the Wittwanmacher is supposed to be a battlecruiser, so let's. Hilligoland. Great, so let me just cross that one off the list. Uh, all right, there we go. So we have our last battleship in the list, and I don't think we'll be building anymore because we're going to start building dreadnoughts. So yes, we did just do a whole lot of money, and we got ourselves below half, and then that comes right on the eve of us designing our first dreadnought. No, no, I thought we had centerline turrets, if you wouldn't mind. Okay, I might, maybe I'm crazy. What about doing this? Am I crazy? It has not developed. Yeah. Yes. Yes, we're fine. Wait, we haven't set developed secondary turrets yet? Okay, we can develop, we can use single turrets, just not double turrets. Wow, caliber 10. That would be an interesting choice. We could go with eight since we have caliber, or we have quality zero eight inch guns. I mean, this is not too many. I look at. I'm not a big stickler for funnels, but honestly, having a funnel right in front of the gun just doesn't really make sense. There, something like that. So this looks okay to me. I mean, I'm not sure what we're going to use for secondaries quite yet. We may end up not doing this. Um, what's the limit? Oh man, local yards can go way more than seventeen thousand. Let's maybe push the speed up to 20 on this as well. Let's look at 20,000 um, for like an initial guess. We don't have 13 inch guns or anything else, I think. But we do have quality zero 12 inch guns, which is frankly not that bad. All right, so let's check a look at our immunity zones. So we're at 8.5. Now, somebody pointed this out and it's a really good point. Germany has advantages in AP, which is where a lot of these values are gonna come from. And also in terms of armor, which is a lot where a lot of these values are going to come from uh, from the other direction. Basically, the higher AP means we should be penning more, but the higher armor means that we shouldn't be that we should be um, able to withstand a little bit more. So these should offset ourselves, and we should basically be looking at our design should basically be the future of what other nations are going to be using. So we can kind of really guide ourselves based on this, assuming that we'll be a little bit ahead in both armor and AP. Although that may not be true because I don't highly prioritize either. Unless I think it's it's a fair enough assessment of our capabilities. So we have 8.5 that we'll, we can penetrate 8.5. Basically, 5 to 13,000 were immune from 12 inch shells because of deck. Yes, and the maximum range of 12 inch guns is, wow, only 13,000 yards. It's amazing what not having the increased elevation can do. 
Um, it's amazing because the uh, six inch guns, I think, can go 15,000 with, inc with increased elevation. It's pretty insane to think that <laughs> twice the it's twice the size and can't go that far yet. But this is in the past, and I think AP and HE, all the shell stuff, the guns improvements, all these things, obviously mostly just increased elevation are going to help us get there. So I think I would like to go with 2.5 for deck and 2 for deck extended, which is going to make this thing very expensive, but I kind of like that idea. Also for gun data, I wish we could modify this a little bit. I guess, I mean, it'd be nice to be able to modify it here. So at 5,000 yards, we need only 3.2 for 6 inch defense, which means I can take this down to 3.5 and probably be okay. Um, yeah, I think that's going to work. We're a little bit overweight. That's fine. We just kick it up by another 500. We're fine to do that. Probably going to drop this down to 10. Let's drop, pick this up to 12. This has to be 2.5 has to. In fact, I want it at 3, which is going to be very easy to do because we are going to want... I think we're just going to go with our typical 6-inch guns. Yeah, I was considering a sec... Uh, somebody had suggested that I actually use, you know, big secondary guns, so not making this kind of like a semi-dreadnought dreadnought hybrid. The reason why I don't think I'm going to do that is because it does cost a lot of weight. I mean, the, nothing is free, right? Can't just get, get bigger guns for free. But we can get 26 inch secondaries and that's gonna make this pretty pow powerful. Now, is this good? Oh, I wish we had I wish we had torpedo defense. It's where she might take some. Oh, we can drop this down. We have a little bit of extra weight. Let's just drop this. 260, 240, 190, 50. Ooh. So we'll take this thing at 20,100 because it seems like we get a lot of weight remaining for doing that one little kick. We can get 110. We don't have enough weight for director firing, so we'll just drop this. That's fine. Oh my gosh, we still have all the tertiaries on it. Holy cow. We can take this back up. We can probably take this up to 115. Four. <laughs> Maybe we'll go to instead to 11.5. Okay, I'm, I think I'm okay with that. Drop the conning tower back down, 9.5. Nope, not enough room for director. How do we get around that once again? Back to square one again. We just keep chasing our tail here, trying to get this thing to work. Um, back to 110, or I can take the conic. Okay, so let me look at gun data. Nine, 8.5 is actually enough to stop even penetration. So I think I'm gonna go down to 8.5 here. And then I can bring this up to 115. That looks perfect. Okay, so what is this first battleship gonna be called? It's gonna be called the Pohenzel learn. I don't know, this is some castle, I guess I looked it up. But I think that it's appropriate for... It's a pretty well-armored ship. With only three turrets, I guess I'm okay with only 12 inches of armor. And this is technically, or I think it is at least, better armor than what we were using on our initial battleships. So it's probably more or less equivalent to those on 12.5. I gotta say, I kind of really like the system where you, you improved your weight more because we don't really have a good way of saying, like they really need to provide a little more information on what your armor level is at. It's so just, it's just, yeah, I don't know. It's not visible. Previously it was very visible. You knew exactly what armor you were preparing against and anyway, Maybe this is actually intentional. Maybe that's supposed to be a mystery. I don't like it as much that way, but maybe that's the intention. Who knows? Frederick knows, but maybe we'll just have to talk to him about it. Nonetheless, I think that this is good to go. We're going to save. It'll give the design a little bit of time to build. I mean, uh, the design will take a little bit of time to pr be prepared. 
yeah, let's revisit it then because we probably won't make big changes. So if we need to make any small changes, we can revisit the design in four months. Okay, 60 submarines, my goodness. <laughs> um, do we want to add? No. We don't want to do that because then we we need to redesign all of them for that. So let's not do that. Okay, so those are done. The armored cruisers are all done. We can wait a second. Did they already get? Oh yeah, that was their refit. Okay, I was like, oh, we gotta refit them now. No, actually they're all set. And no mozels. So these guys are ready to be refit then? Oh yeah, we started to do that. But there's no mozels under construction. I think I was waiting for them to be done under construction, but it looks like they're done, so let's open for rebuild. And all we wanted to do was what? Central firing, which we can get very easily without really changing anything. Just a very quick upgrade. Probably means that we'll get quality one six inch guns right after this. And I think that we actually did station them. Yeah, we actually got these on station. So let's, whoops, just rebuild these as well. Okay, very good. Okay, so when they come back, we can send three of them to go be in North Asia, Northeast Asia, and the Indian Ocean again. Haven't have we not had a war yet? Did we have a war in this one yet? I can't even remember. Uh, yes, we'll be saying no to all those. Yep, we'll protect our interests. Not bad. It's just not not that con uh, concerning. No, again. Okay, turret designs, nice, very nice. We're still positive, but we're eh, just over the 50% mark. I don't even know if there's any place else we can increase. Well, I guess there's the Northern Marianas. The only reason why I would build that up is um, as a contingency, just in case the Caroline Islands fell. Oh, all right, I can build my dock size. I think it's actually getting ahead of where we need it at this point, but um, we have a little bit of extra money. Let's just spend it to keep us below, keep those events from firing, which we are just barely, like, pff, literally like 500 away, <laughs> so six, uh, 600 away from being double. Okay, so we probably don't need reserve fleet right now. Let's just put these guys on active, except for the destroyers, like Luke's Dodd, who's not, not necessarily, does not really need to be combat efficient. Yeah. Oh man, USA, I don't really want to go to war with them, but Oh wow, that's, well, that's significant. Okay, so let's go back, rework the design, see if there's anything which has changed. Yeah, we have had an armor improvement. See, that's why it's nice. <laughs> I wanna get maybe 12 inches of belt then. Okay, let's do it. And we have 30 left over, which is perfect. I guess part of me wants to get 12.5 on this as well. Or what if we leave 11.5 and we upgrade the turrets instead, which might be more important. Oh, okay, we can't go more than this. I guess you can't change the armor even by 10%, otherwise it changes. So I forget what we had this, we were doing 12, like this. And this was at 8.5, but I think actually, yeah, that's probably fine. Whereas only three turrets, so we shouldn't be too worried about them being exploded. <laughs> hmm. I don't know, I'm, I'm actually pretty happy with this. Even though it's very low Carning Tower, it's a little bit weird. 
but I think I'm okay with it because director firing may be expensive. I don't remember, and I don't want to have to adjust the rounds for that. So let's overwrite this, and it'll take another month. Good. Looks like all the ships are back now. Oh man, <laughs> they're just driving more. Uh, our unrest level is at eight, which is not good. So the question is, do we wanna to go to war with the US? We actually have a higher budget than them, which is insane. We have more battleships. They have way more cruisers, but again, I think this is because of the bug, which I'm calling a bug. I think it's a bug that they aren't building battleships in the beginning, so they build the next best thing, which is armored cruisers. Same number of light cruisers. We have way more destroyers than them, thanks to the secretary, naval secretary, demanding we build 21 more or whatever. And I don't know how they have an AMC in service. They're not at war. And we have 60 submarines. I think this is a good opportunity to go to war with the U.S. and try to get something done. So, here we go. Go to the build. Let's rework the design. 32. Okay, so it's fine. Let's build it as is. And we have 12. So we can get 6 of them. I'll get... Seven. And this is gonna draw from our dreadnought names. So that should automatically be filled. Perfect. The Song to Kaiser, I love that one. <laughs> it kinda of reminds me of Song George. Some quite long names, but I haven't like put a character limit on it, so as long as it fits in the slot, we're okay with it. Okay, so that's actually gonna be good. This is gonna take us down below halfway below the budget. We have to worry about unrest a quite a lot. So what I wanna do is actually just mobilize everything. This might cause even more problems for us. Um, we have three more battleships preparing to finish. The big question for us is what do we need to defend? Where do we want to where do we will we invade? And I guess the answer is Guam. And if we can do any other damage. Like, there's no other threats to naval invasion besides Guam. And I believe, yes, they're definitely in range of Saipan. So Saipan, we actually need to make sure that we build a six inch in Northern Marianas. Yeah. Another one, because that's one potential invasion target. So we'll wanna move a very big fleet over to Southeast Asia this is where we will try to contest them and i don't they're not obviously going to try to invade anything else manually we can always um somebody pointed this out I, I don't know why i didn't think about this wars with anybody are still useful because if you win the war convincingly enough you can still take territory from them in the peace agreement which yeah of course i didn't i don't know why i wasn't thinking about that okay so how do we want to play this i guess the beer halls will stay in northern europe and the Hamburgs will, I think the Hamburgs are gonna, move, a lot of them will at least move to Southeast Asia. This is where we're gonna hope that we have enough, <laughs> we have enough um, capability to store those on foreign stations. I will take one armored cruiser with me as well. And I know all the Mosuls are busy busy getting repaired right now, so we'll just take three Mosuls with us. And in fact, th actually these three should be the two that go to Northeast Asia, and the one that goes to Indian Ocean, so that we can start getting those guys swapped in as soon as possible. And I suspect that this is just gonna raise, uh, that all our actions, all the mobilization and all that, it's gonna raise tensions enough that we'll be at war with the US in the next turn. And we've done what we needed to do to prepare as best we can. So also, I know this is way ahead, but we should be already thinking about what we want to take. Probably the Philippines. Um, Marshall Island is in Central Pacific. Actually, we'd be happy to take the Central Pacific as well, Midway or Hawaii. I mean, it's really out of the way. We'd prefer if they had any other, well, I guess we could even move into the Caribbean. Once we move into the Caribbean, we'll always 
we can just expand our influence from there. That's another thing you can think about. We get a we get a toehold on a new zone, but it also means we have to do foreign stations there. A lot of thinking left and right. Let's just see what happens. Nothing yet. But surely the war will be of the US. Surprisingly, I was not definitely not expecting that. Comes as a surprise to me, at least. And we're going to have the new... Ah, oh, man, it would be so great if these were perfectly arriving just in time. So, what's funny is the new Dreadnought line has not appeared yet. <laughs> is this a bug? No. No. We just built seven Dreadnoughts. No way do we want to be limited. We'd get... Now, okay, here's the challenging thing. We just started those dreadnoughts. What was it, three, four turns ago? We have not put that much money into them. I mean, our funds are still actually really, really high. A disarmament conference wouldn't be the worst thing because it would impose some weird budget constraints. We always like to... It's kind of fun to min-max min new designs or see what you can squeak in after design a uh, disarmament conference comes and imposes limits especially this early in the game if they impose like even like a 12,008 inch gun that's actually still a reasonably good uh ship at this point 12,000 tons i mean this is you know barely smaller than the battleships we're using so i still think that i'm going to say no cuz we're ready to go i mean we do have 14 battleships versus the us's 6 they have way more armored cruisers than us, so ho I hope to God that our armored cruisers are better. So there's our around 10,000 tons each. Ours are slightly higher than that. Looks like 12,000. I mean, we know exactly what they are. They're 13,000. So that's a good sign for us. Whereas 18 of theirs are 180, so that's you know almost exactly 10. Because it's going to be them again, uh, two armored cruisers against each other. We could do this. Keep up an appearance of being reasonable. Are we ready? I think we're ready. Let's go for it. Cross deck fire. Wow. Really? And that didn't actually hurt anything. I don't know why. The US is reluctant. They're dragging their heels. Maybe they know what, what we know. That it's probably better for them. <laughs> better for... What? Okay. The, this one can be rebuilt now. It's probably better for them not to go to war with us at this point. Okay, that should be fine. They'll be in Southeast Asia and have plenty of supply there. So we need to keep improving. You can see that the Indian Ocean is just not... Okay, it is improving. It's not in good shape. That should be the last... Might actually need to look at these 10 inch guns. Four, wow, 14,000 tons. Really high armor. This is an incredible. Sh this is a very strong armored cruiser. It is 1904, so that makes a little bit of sense. They're still putting one light AA. I don't really understand that. Um, Italy. We don't really care about going to war with Italy. Again, we can still take colonies from them. That could be our, our expansion into the Mediterranean. But we don't have to worry about landings anywhere, at least. And I didn't move my beer halls, which um, are short range. It's the only short range I have. So I didn't leave, make them leave Northern Europe. I think that they'll be useful there. But the rest of our ships actually are capable of you know, doing whatever. Let's move you over to Southeast Asia. Still hoping or planning at least for war with the United States. And how's our uh, situation here? Yeah, we're actually over. So what we're going to want to do is just move a couple ships into Northeast Asia, or, okay, let's see. South Pacific doesn't have anything, but we could do something in Central Pacific. And we have Central Pacific, we have 50 available, and Southern Pacific, where are you? South Pacific, 130. Oh, wow, we got, this is apparently, I'm just trying. This is still all magic to me. I have absolutely no idea what these numbers, where these are coming from. It's not tonnage. It's not like this. So four, sorry. 
40 plus 9 is 49, and yet this is 59. Um, this one is 120. Oh, I see. I actually get it now. I, f I figured it out on the spot here. It is this value plus 10. So it's all the values plus 10. Okay. But the so that's where the second number comes from. But where the first number comes from, I'm not exactly sure. 68 is not, I do not believe, an addition of all these values together. So these battleships, I mean, in terms of tonnage. These battleships are 16. So 16 times 4 is, uh, yep, it's already going to get you... 64 right am I crazy yeah 64 so that's 64 and these three are not four tons 4,000 tons altogether so there's some weird magic here with this number 56 this is a 56 that I mean I why I'm so stupid it was right here the whole time wait is it Oh, is foreign stunnage? Why is this only counted as 2,500? I don't know, but basically, I th let's just assume that this is the total tonnage. I think this is not true, because it can't be, obviously, but... Yeah, what the heck is... This is how much the foreign station tonnage is. It's a mystery. These numbers are a mystery. Where does this 68 come from? This is not the addition of all the tons. I don't know. I, I wish I knew. Maybe it's... Is it the number that we have, the strategic number? Is it 9 times 4, which is 36, plus, what are armored cruisers, 6? I don't know. I don't think that's going to get high enough. Um, yeah, we'll make the nation, the agent a national hero. Oh, wow, that was pretty significant. We don't want to piss the British off too much if the Americans are about to go to war. And we have these Mosels we got to get out of there now. Okay, you two go get rebuilt. Okay, good. The nice thing is we're still gonna be at pretty good funds even after building all the seven dreadnoughts that our fund situation is still looking pretty good. But I would like to knock the US, if we're gonna challenge the US ever, now's a really good time. So let's crank this up to high, drop this down to medium, drop this down to medium and see what happens. Perfect timing. Absolutely. Oh, wow. And there it is. Perfect. Enemy coastal raid? Absolutely. How do they even have forces here? Okay, so what do... Oh, man, not good. We only have two light cruisers. At least our light cruisers are pretty decent, but... So we're just looking for the enemy. Let's find them. We might want to look at where the enemy or where the coastal forces are. Okay, that one's close. That one's close. Now remember, I did put the what kind of batteries do we have here? Six and six. Damn it! Because we did put the ten-inch guns somewhere. Where where are they? Down here. Yeah, there's the ten-inch guns. Darn it. And here's the, another set of six. Well, I mean, at least we have pretty good coverage, which is gonna be helpful if we run into an armored cruiser here. We can retreat back to even six inch gun turrets will help. So where is the one we need to keep an eye on? Far to the west. I guess that's probably the one that we will need to actually take advantage, or to actually watch out for. It's probably the one which will end up being hit, if any of these. So the, it's gonna take them. Oh, Glukstad has spotted a submarine. Okay, we'll kill it. Are we killing it? Can we kill it? I'm not sure. Let's move this way now. Again, we just want to make sure that they don't take out our... Ah, okay. Squad max. And we'll start taking control of these guys manually now. Squad max. Oh, uh, these are terrible ships. So we want them to actually return immediately. They're not useful to us in this battle, most likely. 
So it's good luck to the light cruisers here. I believe. And we have the wind advantage as long as we can stay up this way. Okay, so we know it's a light cruiser. This is gonna be, I think, just a fair fight. We'll close the range. We probably need to close the range considering our gun data, which I think we can still have here. Yes, yeah, so we can penetrate three inches of belt when we close. So this is, I think, still useful for us. At 8,000, what's our range right now? Of course, it was in that same screen. We are engaging them at 5,300. So we're already at 5,300. We're expecting to penetrate everything. I mean, unless they're, oh, we, we actually know them now. Two inches of belt, okay, good. And their turrets are only one inch, so, oh my God, they're using the same cheaty design. It's crazy. They are using the above water. The hell, man. What kind of crazy cheaters are ya? Well, hopefully our... Wait, whoa, 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 what? I wonder what kind of fire control they're using. Because if they're using better fire control, that's the one thing I cannot tolerate. Three six-inch guns. So we're still firing a much bigger broadside than they are. They're firing three guns, and we're firing... Two... Three, four, five, six. Now I'm gonna swerve right here. I'm just expecting torpedoes since they do have surface mounts. Okay, we've managed to hit them this time. They have very light armor, so we're not expecting them. I mean, where is all their tonnage used? They do have very light armor, so we're not expecting them to be too much of a threat. Okay, that could have been a torpedo. What is their speed? 24. Oh, so they do slightly outpace us. Whoa, 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 I'm going space bar minute by minute. I've seen that happen a few times, unfortunately. Okay, I guess we launched torpedoes. What are they doing? That is probably a torpedo launch, so we'll pull away. Keep firing. And we have definitely have the wind advantage now. Okay. All right, another hit. We're doing pretty well. I think we're doing well. Maybe we can just run this for a while. Lots of hits, lots of hits. The torpedoes, yeah, they can't be in range yet. So we should be okay. It's a close, close fought battle. Could be, the winner could be anyone. Now we did, we've gotten several hits on them lately though, so Kind of try to push our advantage. We do have the wind working in our favor. All right, pursuit mode has been activated. They are pulling away, unfortunately. I don't know exactly which one of them is the one that's gotten hit either. All right, so we'll kind of stay off to the side. Oh, we actually had a few more hits there. This one's slowing down as well. That could be very important for us. Okay, we're back in a good position. Just make sure that we're not too close as to take torpedoes. We're being very careful about that. Yep, just keep firing. Still getting some hits on her. Should slow her down little by little. Another hit, another hit. Where's her sister ship? That's what I'm curious about. There she is. So will we try to get both? I don't know. Okay, yeah, we're, we don't want to get too close. About as close as we want to get. I'm gonna swing way wide just to avoid torpedoes. The other thing we could do is just close um, a stern and then do a little diagonal veer like this and then diagonal, get a hit in and then just basically gives our broadside a couple minutes to fire, which is better, I don't know. She's slowing down enough now that I really would like to just sink her. 
Although, frankly, it's worse to lose a ship at this point to torpedoes. Swing wide around. Yep. And torpedoes are very slow at this era, too. So that's another thing to consider. that We shouldn't be that at risk of taking a torpedo. But they have the surface mounts. I don't know how. I don't know if it's even legal for them to launch those. Roaming speed. Well, her companion ship is definitely gone, but I think, is she this way? Has her buddy given up on her? Is she on fire now? I mean, has she actually lost her turrets? No, she hasn't lost any turrets yet. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I mean, look, I've been playing a lot of World Waves 2 lately, so just correct me if I'm wrong, but this is the first battle for us, right? This is the first battle of the Caesar series? It'd be very embarrassing if we didn't sink her. We're almost out of ammunition, but like I said, it'd be very embarrassing not to sink her. Getting a few more hits in. We've definitely won this one, but we want to finish the job. There's a few good hits. Man, what is what is her deal? Just lay it out. Raise the white flag for crying out loud. We're like a, an annoying bee pestering her, pestering her. <laughs> Alright. Boy, we have got, we've got some torpedoes. Why don't we use our torpedoes at this point? No, we don't have a target. Okay. Well, shoot. No. Close. Cancel. Well, now we can finally use our torpedoes. Okay. Let's use them now. Should be a hit. And do you want to fire torpedoes as well? You can't. Okay. Well, just wait Wait a minute, then you'll launch. Should be a kill. Just to make sure, though. And we can head back happily. Yep, there it is. Certainly got a kill there. All right, take her down to cruise speed and head back to port. Either port, really, but a good mission. Good way to start off the day. Good way to start off the the war. I'm assuming the other one went home, but, you know, she could be out harassing. She won't have much time. Whoa, our destroyers. I forgot all about them. <laughs> They're having a good time, though. Okay, good. We... Sank both of them? <laughs> they had five total? What? We actually went after, I guess at some point, the new one. That's hilarious. So which one was this? 1039 versus, okay, 1039... No. Is it local? I mean, it's almost the same. Um, let's look at the Juno instead. Wow. 39 hits. This is a torpedo hit. So this is the one at the very end. And her last action was at 1856. The previous one, uh, her last action... Was that, yeah, 1703. That's, this is crazy. So we were actually doing a lot of damage to one of them that sank while we started pursuing the other one. That's incredible. <laughs> we just, just completely did not know we were doing that. <laughs> well, that's a great way to start the, 
the great way to start this. Wow, fantastic. Okay, well, it looks like we're at 40 minute mark, so I probably won't put any more time into this episode. Uh, we'll call it to a close here. So war with um, war with the United States. What do we want to do? I guess we need to start planning our invasion immediately. How do they? How many forces do they have here? Like nothing. Okay, well, let's immediately invade. And we have over base cap. Okay, it's nice that they let us know that. What I can do is move the armored cruiser itself up. I think that that would be fine because we get the most points, strategic points for for the. Um, Oh, wait, 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 wait. I may need to, where else could we possibly attack? No, no, there's no way that they have, you know, I don't even know if they can have better invasion range, but they certainly don't have like five times the invasion range, which means the only thing which can be invaded, yeah, I'm not crazy, right? The only thing that the US has is, yeah, it can only be these two. So we'll move our armored cruiser to Northeast Asia, just, well, they actually, we'll move it over to the Central Pacific where it'll be safe and it'll kind of protect us a little bit. I don't know, maybe. We can ha have it start doing raiding over there. So move it to the Middle Pacific, whatever, Central Pacific, that's what it's called. And we can start, uh, w I mean, we'll get the rest of these to do the right thing. Wow, that is gonna be a lot of trade protection. And our submarines are going to go to work as well. I think this is going to be a very good war for us. But we'll see if that actually ends up being the case or not in the next episode. For now, thanks for watching. And until the next one, take care.